So I open my doors to get them out. They're not going to go out because they're clever. <laughs> so, all right, guys, let's have a parlay here. Just sit down with me. Let's chat about this before you suck my blood. Have some ice cream. It's amazing what I've Because done even vampires like ice cream. Welcome to Spaghetti Junction. My name is Gareth. My name is Bruce. Ah, uh, we talk about things. We just don't know where they're going to go. That is right, Bruce. We don't know where they're going to go. We really don't know where this one's going to go. This, uh, <laughs> we, we, we've done it once before. We, it entertains us. So, um, as you say, it's our podcast. So, do whatever we do want. Do whatever we want. Hopefully. As long as we're entertained. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not entertained? There you go. Oh, great That's movie. where I was going to go after that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, oh, um, we there, 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 there was going to be penalties for you, by the way. Oh shoot! But I needed time to actually get prepared for it, so um, so you're lucky. You've, oh my word! You've missed it. I had a, I had one or two very good options from some people that we know. Oh no! Uh, I'm from yeah exactly. <laughs> one more, yeah no, I that, know who those people are. Yeah, and um, <laughs> they uh, yeah. So anyways, but I needed to. I've just been working six days a week, so yeah, you've been grinding. It I out. actually have to have stuff. <laughs> physical stuff to okay, for your cool. punishment oh so, no yeah so we'll just leave it for now so guys I know you've been waiting for it but I'd rather do it properly than just do it because we said that we would do it that's a good idea yeah, yeah cool yeah. <laughs> yeah so we're just gonna head off the top we're just gonna chat like we normally do and we're gonna see see where it goes I'm actually interested we normally have like we start with something even like like, like in our last podcast we just started with something and then it just went it just went everywhere yeah so, and I think and I think after after our last after our last podcast, this one is definitely needs to be a hell of a <laughs> well, light <I> one, <laughs> considering the seriousness of the last discussion. So I'm on a, um, on a. It's not a Reddit. It's 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 called I'm um, Quora, I think Q U O U R A, and it basically has like you know, yes. this, um, you know, like the like, like stories or memes or whatever, and oh, and then you can you know ask ask a question you know which like for example i wrote like um what music software that is free you know c can i use to make you know music for a, a channel which i'm going to do as, as we'll probably speak about later okay so it's like a, it's like forums it's f well it's basically where, yeah no well it's it's like one big one big site basically okay. where you can ask questions you can answer questions. You can post stories. You can post memes. It, it's just a whole. So Anyways, it's basically another social media site. Yeah, but yeah, but <laughs> so blogging as well, and so so that. somebody asked the question: What is the best way to, to become taller? <laughs> so obviously, this person has a height issue. Ooh, I mean, there were I mean, there were guys on there. Sorry, some one person was answering. There's a, a medical thing which you can do, which is fucked up. Ooh, have we passed? Whatever, I don't care. Um, if, if we get <laughs> another of that episode. zinger, I actually think it is probably. It's less than 30, uh, whatever, I don't give a crap. Yeah. Anyways, the point being is that there is a surgery which you can get where they can stretch your legs. It's like a, with like um, the, a, pins and a whole freaking structure thing going on. It's do they, whack. Do they... Is it a case of, of literally breaking the bones and then something, setting them to the, like so it, that yeah. they regrow? Yeah. Wow. Something along those roots, yeah. Is and it's horrid. And you've got pins and everything in your legs. And so my reaction, yeah, <laughs> like, like why? Because it's, 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 it's like so serious. Like, and the person was like, what, why would you even, maybe you're smaller, a shorter. Well, okay, but to go through that. Anyways, so... <laughs> My answer to what is the best way to become taller. I wrote a few points. Number one. I'm sure you did. <laughs> tie your arms to to an immovable structure. Tie your feet to two wild stallions. Then ask someone to smack their butts without them knowing, causing them to panic and run away like the wind. Side issue is that your arms may grow longer. Number two. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I had fun. Number two. You troll. <laughs> Find a travel machine. Go back to the moment of when you were formed. Find God and um and uh, okay, this 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 one's a bit more more tongue in cheek. Find God and ask him to 
to change the formula of, of yourself and to add extra centimeters. Side effect, I always say, is your arms may not be in, in proportion with the rest of your body. Three, go to a circus and learn how to use stilts. <laughs> Side effect, you will always have a problem with a bloody nose. Acquire a superpower that allows you to turn, this was, my brain was definitely on work mode, like I need <coughs> an, an outlet. <laughs> Acquire a superpower that allows you to turn into bread dough and have someone roll you into a taller person. Side effect, your skill, sorry, your skin will change, change, your skin will change to the color of white or brown flour, maybe both combined. Last one, I think. <laughs> you really went to town I on this. I was like tired. I was like, I just need a breather. Go back to the above circus in point three. Learn how to become a trapeze artist. Attach weights to your arms and hands and allow the other artists to only hold you by your feet. Wow. Side effect. You will have moments of blacking out throughout your life by the constant blood rushing to your head that was formed on the trapeze. <laughs> then right at the end, I then said... You know, like like a real thing. Like, why do you want to? Why do you think your life's going to be better, being made taller? Like, how is your life going to change? How is your mind going to change yeah. if only I was taller? Yeah. Like, what are you doing now? What are the people around you doing who who love you and you make you for you you are yeah. that you feel that I can only become a better person if I'm taller? Yeah. That's kind of how I ended it in well, a nice way. Well, very very interesting. Going on that, and you know, okay, we know where I'm going to go with this. I don't actually done this time. Is that main? Was that mainly guys? No, it's a guy. Called, no. Or looking to be taller, or is it girls as well? Asking. Uh, it was a. I don't even know who. who okay. Who, who asked it? Okay. Why? No. So many guys want to be taller, <laughs> because girls, girls like taller guys. But since when? Apparently so. Uh, I, I. I've never heard know. that before. You're taller than me. Uh, I don't know. Exactly. I don't want to get any lucky, so I don't <laughs> think that's true. You've definitely got an advantage over me with regards to height. Yeah, I do have a height thing, but yeah. I think that girls more like guys with beards. It's got that gruff manly thing, I guess. I can attest to that. Exactly. <laughs> it does work. So I'm rocking the silver. Yeah, salt and pepper. Mm. So no, I, I've I've never... Girls like tall guys. I think it's difficult when the girl is tall. Yeah, and that's you're not a, and that's, as tall. Yeah, because because a, 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 a woman, uh, a lot of many women. It's not general. <laughs> yeah, it's not generalized. Yeah, so careful. Generalized. Yeah. Um, want to look up to a guy, and like if they hug them, they want to you know feel the guy like around them. They want to feel small around a larger guy. How do you know so much about this, Chris? Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, countless years of research and. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, okay. so so well, yeah, so if you're if you're a short guy, and there are many other ways you can make yourself a little bit more attractive. Exactly. So yeah, it's it's, it's not I mean, about that's a that's a that's a very extreme way. I of would doing imagine it. that person who asked that was probably young as well. Like probably. in a, I would imagine like I don't know, but I would imagine late teens, probably maybe early twenties. Yeah, and maybe someone who's in that group of friends who just make you feel like crap because you're not as tall as the next person yeah uh, it, there's a there's actually a there's a term there's a term for 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 that it's um looks max looks max yes it's another word for you okay i never <laughs> heard that before Tell where me. it's basically um putting all your effort as a guy especially if, if you wanted to be more attractive to women into looks body height you know gymming all of uh -huh, that kind uh -huh, of thing. And guys yeah. can take that to quite an extreme. And trying to make yourself taller is definitely an extreme. Yeah, completely. Because they, they, cause these guys have this very, this delusional idea that everything about attraction is based on looks. There's nothing else. It's just looks. <laughs> you know, whereas like, no, you know, there's, 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 there's tons of other things. And you can be a, you can be four foot, you can be four foot five and still, you know, slay with girls if you do it right you know that's not yeah. a hard thing you know so it's very so interesting <laughs> this surgery of how do you get yourself t taller so there there is an actual surgery um this is a surgery for everything these days <laughs> yeah um so surgery 
can c- c- correct legs. You see, this is for people who, who have a legs, you know, who were born with one leg not as long as the other. You see, now that's a legitimate... That's a legitimate thing. Yeah, not just because you want to taller because you want to get chicks. <laughs> you know, it's like flip. If you're working with a really bad lump because you are, you you know, you have a, a legitimate medical defect. Yeah. Like jeepers. Yes. It makes sense. Thank goodness. There's the That's miracle of modern medicine. Some ass who just... So, <laughs> surgery to get taller, also known as limb lengthening surgery, in, involves surgical approaches to stimulate bone growth in the legs. This approach often involves several surgeries to lengthen not only the leg or the legs, but also the tendons in the legs. Absolutely, yeah. Um, you, can't, uh, you can't have one without the other. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> one way or the one leg or the other, yeah, absolutely. No, but you can't, you can't lengthen the leg without lengthening the tendons. <laughs> you see, now these are the people who need it. Birth defects that impact bone growth, yeah. cerebral palsy, history of broken bones or injury to the lower legs affecting growth, history of polyomal- polio- poliomyelitis. Polio, basically, yeah, yeah, okay. History of shortened or tight muscles and leg, 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 leg pertes, leg put. It's a disease, okay? Leg perthes. Leg perthes. I'm, I'm, Pass me your phone I'm and calling let me it have a look. Leg perthes disease with effects. You know me and not allowing you to, to look at my phone. Wow. But you do know that. I never let you look at my phone when I'm watching something. You know how much that irritates me. Jeez. Could you be more of a girl? Yeah, I could. <laughs> you could but I but won't you're carry not on. No. <laughs> Thank you for asking. <laughs> what am I looking Leg leg Perthes disease, which affects the hips. That's what I said. It looks like it sounds like someone's name. Leg Perthes. Yes. Maybe in like you know Greek Greek culture, leg Perthes. <laughs> Would like you to in it's a double to, barreled to meet my wife, who is a pole dancer. Her name is Leg Perthes. <laughs> Greek culture. They have some random names in Greek Greek culture. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. The one thing we're with with uh, with. Greek culture, which is my nephews, well, there's three, uh, the older two. Yeah. They believe, they, okay, so basically, you know, at, at, at my sister and, and brother law, you know, in their, in their family. Yeah. There's no religion that is like, you know, like, like forced onto anybody. It's like, yeah. you, you know, you, you, you can make up, you can basically, you know, not get forced into a choice. You need to make that yourself right and somehow they went onto greek gods <laughs> i don't know how they got there but they got there and uh, they have uh i don't think they have appreciation but they they know that there's like a god for like almost anything so they basically got into it's greek mythology so yeah all and they the believe different. in this in the in the thing that that there are many gods there's not one god you right. Know, yeah. You know who? Yeah. You know who? Who? Um. Who? Who runs the world? Yes. There's many. Right. Like literally for like any problem you might have, there's a god for it. Right. So you got to pray to that specific if, god. If if my lemon tree, I don't know. If if I have a lemon tree, <laughs> my mum actually has a nice one. It came from a family that were leaving South Africa as many are doing right now, and she got a lemon tree from them. So good riddance. When life gives you <laughs> lemons, lemons will give you <laughs> a lemon when, tree. Or when people leaving the country give you lemons. lemons take you a lemon tree. Exactly. Lemonade. So basically, if if <laughs> oh, I had a you know a plantation of lemon trees, yes, uh, and something happened and they all got wiped out by some bug, there's a god that I can pray to specifically, and that's their only that's their only uh, their only role. No, I have a question. Is that I will pray to this god. Over the harvesting god, for example. Okay, yeah, you see, that's what yeah. I wanted to ask. I saw ask. you going somewhere that's else. I that's why ask. I made myself clear. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, because often you're not very clear. <laughs> no, you clear, not me. Carry on. Yes, lemon. You clear? You mean nuclear? Ooh. Did see what I did there? Yeah, I did. I didn't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was yourself. funny. Carry like, on. Like I normally do. I'm laughing for both of us. Uh, you correct. <laughs> <laughs> right, lemons. Is it... Oh, so yeah, is there a, is it a god of? There's agri- not a god for avocados and a god I'm for lemons. I'm just asking. Is it? It's possible. A god of Bruce. agriculture. Basically. Oh yes, okay. not a god of lemons and a god of avocados. That's what I was asking, you know. But that could be interesting because that's like so many gods. 
I think I, I if there was a God for avocados, yeah, I would thank him every day. <laughs> but there is only one God to thank for the avocados. That's right. On my pizza, on my sandwiches. Sandwiches. Do you do sandwiches? <sighs> yeah, I do don't you? like avocados. The only thing that I'll deal with is if it's on a bacon, uh, something. But uh, on oh, a burger. Oh, oh no! Put on. Oh, jeez, I'll have avocado on everything. Eh? No, no, no. Except no. ice cream. They're, they're, I reckon that they probably made avocado flavored ice cream. I know they. I know there's a place in England that makes garlic flavored ice cream. Oh, that's pretty disgusting. I know it's a tradition. Bloody it's some Brits. little part of it. Yeah, I know. It's British. Anyway, but yeah, no avocados. I. Sorry, I'm still I'm on the garlic flavored ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> it's like why? One, it's one little town somewhere in England. It's I've, possible that they're trying to fool. V- who gets hit by vampires? <laughs> So maybe it's a really hot day and vampires have to get away from the sun, obviously, because they'll die. Yes. They get f- frizzled, yes. get but they're still hot. Yeah. They're still and think, shit, they're in my house. I can't get them out the house. So I want to, I don't want to die to vampires, obviously. And they're in my house <laughs> and I'm going to die in the next half an hour because they're all hungry. So I open my doors to get them out. They're not going to go out because they're clever. <laughs> so, all right, guys, let's have a parlay here. Just sit down with me. Let's chat about this before you suck my blood. Have some ice cream. It's amazing what I've done. Because even vampires like ice cream. They do. Who does not like ice cream? Sick people. (laughs) Or lactose intolerant. (laughs) No, but there's even ice cream for lactose intolerant people, so they don't have an excuse. Really? Yeah. There is. Yes, I did see it. And I I laughed at it in the flipping aisle. When I was in the in the aisle. I laughed in the aisle. I'm sure people would have looked like this guy's crazy. I know, because there is lactose free ice cream at Willie's. How does that work? I don't know. Because it's not ice cream. I don't know how ice cream works. Cream. It's not, yeah, it's, not, cr- it's not, then it's ice. It's like lactose free milk. It's like, that's not milk. That's just sad white water. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Sad white water. <laughs> I mean, really? It's not uh, milk. Oh, uh, that's funny. That's God, funny. Even, even like low fat milk. <laughs> No. Um, or you know what, what? Which milk I don't get? Mm. The um, almond milk. Like who sits down and, and milks an almond? Jeez, like, like how do you get a how do you get milk out of an almond? You squeeze really hard. Eh? Yes, it's quite a lot of squeezing to get a thing. That's why it's so expensive as well. Have you seen the price of almond nuts lately? Good grief! Don't do nuts. Why? Nuts in general, dude. Pecan nuts, almond nuts, Brazil nuts. Like some of the best snack for you, health wise. Yeah. Some of the most expensive. Really? Shocking. The only nuts which I will have that are reason that, that, that because they're cheaper and they really help help my energy are peanuts. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll do that as well. Peanuts are good. But like if I want to if I want to buy almonds and stuff like that, I've got to be doing really well financially for a while just to go and treat myself to a bag of of almonds. Yeah, so almond almond milk. Really good. Well, it it like makes me think as to you can't squeeze blood out of a rock. Blood out of a stone. On, but I can squeeze milk out of an almond. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's possible. Yeah, I don't know how they make it. I don't care as well. No, so. like what? I mean, like, how do you... I don't know. <laughs> Just some questions that we'll never, ha- we'll never have an answer to. It's probably one of the things we won't talk about here on the Spaghetti Junction podcast. <laughs> yeah, because we don't give a shit. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Not because we can't do it. <laughs> but I'd imagine that that would be on a list of things to ask God we, 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 you know when you get to heaven how do you milk an almond <laughs> no no in all serious I would like to actually know how they do it well there's but not enough that I'm going to go onto YouTube because I really don't give a crap yeah no and there'll be tons of YouTube videos and once you watch one there'll be a whole bunch in your feed for the next six months yeah. like we know YouTube gets yeah they t- they take one thing and then all of a sudden you have a fr- freaking menu have you noticed talking about youtube videos i mean look you can find anything on youtube now any yes. tutorial anything any activity how about making a bomb probably probably yeah, yeah. no there will be There'll, there'll all kinds of stuff but for every subject there's always there's always a a demographic of smoking hot women doing the same thing it can be it can be it can be playing guitar it yes. can be it can be she lives on the road driving a semi truck yes there's a lot that does that well and they are like uh, there's always there's always just yeah a 
plethora. There you go. My favorite word for the day. I, I like saying plethora, <laughs> but I like it. But it's it's all about the emphasis on what syllables you like to put in. That's right, Bruce. So Thank you. I say plethora. You say plethora. <laughs> That's right, Bruce. I just did. Is Bruce laughing for the both of us again? You do that very well. <laughs> I know. Very well. So yeah, it's just some. It's just an observation that I made. It's just yeah. But it is actually true because a lot. The, it's very true because there are are many w- women guitarists, yeah. but they are reasonably good. But not there's one or two you, you know which I happen just to watch once because they were hot. Yeah. And then I've stopped because I know they don't play exceptionally well, but they've got huge, hundreds of thousands of views. Of what, huge views and a link to the next person who's a guy who's ten times better. This one girl, she played. Smoke on the water, but like, (laughs) she had like a few, a few hundred thousand. Yeah, because people think, oh, because she's hot, she can do anything. Yeah, look, I'm not, I'm not discounting that a lot of these women doing a lot of these things. I'm not discounting that they don't have skills. I mean, they're really, they are cool. Yeah. But I, there's a few who really do not. I mean, I got, I got, I got, I got looking into um, the uh, the whole thing around, um, <coughs> you know, li- mobile living and living out, of, you know, van yeah. van life, living van in a life. camper and stuff I like, like that. I like those as well. They're great. And there's there's one girl, there's one particular girl, and she's actually a doctor, believe okay. it or not. Yeah. And, I mean, every video. She's in her yoga pants. She, she's in a little top, and she's in a bikini, and she's doing the whole thing. And she she knows what's up. Yeah. Look, she's got a great she's got a great camper. The way she's done it and That's everything. That's good. But her YouTube channel is huge, and it's probably a lot because of she's smoking hot. Yeah, oh, there's this one girl. Um, and I think this is easier last year. Young, I don't know, early twenties. No, yeah, very early twenties. A lot of them are. And <laughs> she um she got a van life thing going on. And she hit, I'm not, I really can't tell you exactly how many, she hit, she she got to a million subscribers within a few days, within like, I, I could be wrong, it's so long ago, but within, within about a week or so. Yeah. Because all she was doing was just in her van, looking sexy, driving around, van life. No, no, she, she was one of the fastest growers in the, um, in, um, in YouTube. That's incredible. Hey? Just within a few days, she yeah. was hitting a million subs because yep. so maybe we need to move this podcast into a camper van <laughs> and some people might like Become it chicks and pick up <laughs> chicks or wear <laughs> random see but here but it has to be more than just being in the van because we're not the girls so we so we have to somehow up it yeah to a level maybe turn it in 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 into a love shack and then call <laughs> each other austin pa- no you, you'll be austin and i'll be powers <laughs> Then maybe we'll get more views. Maybe because we have a shagadelic place. And just put the pictures of the girls and the thumbnails, and not us, because exactly nothing about us. Because that's what today, Jennifer, <laughs> shagadelic. <laughs> so yeah, I um, look. I think I think the van life thing is pretty cool, but um, like do it in a heartbeat. Though. The thing is that you would have to make plans for a bathroom and for, I mean, the the guys who I who I follow very cool, Nate and Karen, um, from the states, and they go, she's, they've gone through, they've if this is now their third year, dude. They make their money enough that they go and travel the world, and they go do stuff. Anyways, so their van itself, yeah, um, had kitted out at um a toilet, a shower, yes. And then like every day or two, then you have to move your feces, you, you, you know, you know, in a, in a, in a carry. It's a special, yeah, it's a special tank that you have to Special tank. Out then you stuff, have yeah. to find someone to actually do that, to actually put yeah. it out somewhere. And that's the difficulty, just that alone. Yeah. Um, I, I, what I like, the, the, the van thing that it seems it's like a little bit small but what i like are the guys who have taken um old school buses like the okay. l- proper long school bus yeah. yellow school bus yeah. and they've kitted it out into a, a full mobile home nice um i, I listen to a, there's a, a podcast that i listen to on youtube it does a lot of the the general sort of positive masculinity stuff that i like to listen to and um 
he he's been he uh, very very regularly been working on a bus and he's finally finished it and it's it's got solar power it's got a full double bed bedroom nice. it's got a it's got a place for his podcasting it's got everything oh, and wow. he's super kitted out it's like heat resistant paint on the outside to keep the inside cool huh. he is sorted the and only thing is that you have to l- learn where to park a bus because it's not like a you know yeah in a normal parking bay remember this is america there are lots of it, it, there, there's so many people that's driving rvs that are the size of a bus that's true so it doesn't really matter you can go find campsites anywhere and just do it just a bus and i mean just driving just and the thing is in, in the states you can do that because the country is just messy. yeah away. it's just you can and spend then, you can spend your your whole lifetime and that's what these people do whole lifetime or your reti- lifetime or your retirement years at least <laughs> thank you because i was thinking like 60 years all of driving around america oh okay then yeah like, but then it's not just america there's canada and then there's yeah. alaska and then but you also have to be making enough money to do that though that's also true that's why you have a channel like these guys they st- started off small but now they're getting almost a million views per video so yeah. when you get a million views for, per video you can get to do the stuff that they do. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, my I, I'm I once mentioned to you a while back. I don't know if you remember that I've been following a guy on on YouTube who is um, rebuilding an 11, 111 year old sailboat, a wooden sailboat. Yes, he did. He's basically he's re- he's basically been he's rebuilding it from scratch. Okay. He had to trash so much of it because it was. So then, what's the point? But it is. But his channel has blown. So up. it's not the original s- boat then. Because he's That's the question. And he actually devotes an entire episode I mean, to he his, it, most of it. Yeah, exactly. So But that's an that's an eternal question that a lot of boat builders actually talk about. Like if you how much of a boat can you rebuild with yes. it still being the exactly. original boat? Exactly. It's this eternal question that everyone argues about. Well, I I'm sure many people listening are going, That's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking about at this time I'm listening. I've never thought that. And his his Maybe channel the boat people. Yeah, boat people definitely. Um, maritime enthusiasts. Wow, <laughs> you're pretty good at that one. Oh, no, no, come on. There we go. Gonna give me that. It one. makes sense. And uh, his his channel has blown up now to do and with along with people who are, he's had volunteers come from all over the world to come and help him. Really? Couple of weeks, couple of months, puts them up, feeds them. Nice. He's been able to employ another guy. And the channel literally now pays for him to do this full time. And he puts up a video every two weeks. Takes him about three days to actually edit the videos because he's come on so, he, but he's come on so well with his filming as well. Yeah. It's brilliantly filmed. He uses GoPros, he uses all kinds of stuff. And it's fantastic. And now it's, it's addictive. I can't, I can't, I'm so up, I'm up to <laughs> date and now I can't wait for the next episode. Good but idea. that's what I find interesting. So speaking about filming, I think he's got about 400,000 subscribers yeah. or something. Filming wise, I did speak. Um, I had a good, good chat with our, one of our buddies, Brendan, as to how do we film one of these episodes without it being such a Mufasa file? Because that has been my problem. It's been the issue. If of, I'm going to edit it like yeah. forever. Uh, but he was saying that there are options that I, I just need to basically go through my editing suite and then i need to ch- chat more with him but there is a possibility that there is a format that can save it into like a portion of the size of what it was yeah because my so it's very possible yeah the way the way it does it works on my machine if i have to if i do an editing of a video i can only compress it once i've edited it in the software yeah then that's this, yeah that's right but I can't, yeah, and then if uh, it's a right. half an hour video, <laughs> it's going to be huge. Well, I think there's a try. So, I mean. That's cool, but if you can find a way to do I, it. I think our aim by our 50th episode is uh, we're going to hopefully get a few, a few new things up and running. Uh, that would be very cool. Um, that could be one of the things. There are other ones that we know about that we won't share until it's 50, <laughs> but um, um, yeah. Cool. Good. Smashing. Awesome. Wonderful. Super. Lacquer. Keef. <laughs> boy boy. Schmucky. Lovely. All right. Ding tong. All right. Bro. All right. Easy, Brilliant. Tiger. Brilliant. <laughs> Schmaff. <laughs> Tweet. <laughs> Yummy. Remember your word, schwaka? I do. <laughs> schwaka. There you go. I do remember schwaka. <laughs> wow. 
And here's the Spaghetti Junction podcast, hoping you have a schwacker week. Amen. <laughs> and go schwack with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a positive. And it's not a dirty thing. Have a schwacker week and make someone else's life schwacker. So you, so you schwack together. That's good. <laughs> Makes sense. It does. Thank you. And on that schwaka note. Thank you. This has been the Spaghetti Junction Podcast. My it name has. is Bruce. My name's Garrett. Have a lucky one, guys. Catch you on the next one. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And yes. engage with us in the comments. Thank you. <laughs> that was a conversation. We're glad you were around to listen to it, people. This is how we roll. Have a good one. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.